Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this award standard smooth hover trail animation on Elementor with the use of custom CSS and GSA. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like so. So now when you hover, you have this cool effect like this, as you can see. Now, mind you, this effect is responsive on all devices. However, it is not useful on mobile devices as mobile doesn't have hover effect. But on tablet and desktop, it looks amazing. Okay, and if you're using the Elementor free version and the Elementor pro version, you'll be able to achieve this easily. And I'm going to walk you through every step of the way on how to go about achieving this cool animation. Okay. If you like what you see, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And feel free to drop your comments as well. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our Elemental Editing Canvas, what I'm going to do here is to click on this plus icon here and select the flex boss. Then I'll select this structure here. Come over here and set the content width to full width and change the minimal height to BH100. I'll come over here and then rename this container for reference purposes. I'll call it our hero. I'll come over to the add element and select the container widget. Now I'm going to du duplicate this widget here. For the first one, I'm going to call it our text content. And then for the second one, I'm going to call it our images. Okay, so now for the text content, I'm going to come over here. For the content width, I'll set it to full width. The minimal height, I'm just I'm going to set it to VH100. Come over here, make sure the item direction is set to column vertical. And then justify content, I'm going to set it to space between. Okay, then I'm going to come over to add element and select the heading widget. Now, the next thing I'll do here is before working on the heading widget, I'll go back to the text content. Before I forget, and go to the advanced settings and then come over here and give it a padding of 30 pixel all around. Then I'm going to unlink this and then to the top, I'm going to set it to zero. Okay, then I'll come back here to this heading text here. I'm going to change the text here to explore. I'll go to the style option and tweak it a little bit for the typography. I'm going to come over here, set the font family to AR1 sans. And then for the size, I'm going to set the size you need to REM and give it a value of 10 REM. Come over here to the width, set it to 500 medium and transform, I'm gonna set it to uppercase. Then I'll come down here to where we'll have the letter spacing. I'm gonna change the uniform pixel to EM and give it a value of 0 0.25 EM. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here and change the text color to black. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do here is select this text content here and then come over to add element and select the container widget. Now within this con container here, what I'm going to do is come over here and then set the gaps here to 10 pixel and then come back to add element and select the heading widget. Now this heading widget here, I'm going to change the text to the creative arena. And then I'm going to change the HTML tag to H3 or H4 just for SEO purposes. Then go to the style option and tweak it a little bit. Come over to the typography font family. I'm going to set it to the same as that of the uh, first header, which is uh, error one sans. And then change the unit from pixel to REM and give it a value of 3.5 REM. Okay. And then come over here for the weight. I set it to 500 medium. Then the next thing I'll do here is I'll come over to the text color and set it to black. Go back here to our add element and search for the icon list. And then I'll select the icon list and set it to inline. Now I'm going to delete these other ones and then come over here and delete the icon. Now for the first text here, I'm just going to set it to web designing. Okay, or web design. Repair us to web design. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Come over to the next one, set it to web the loop mint duplicate it come over to the third one change it to branding and then come over duplicate it the last one i'm going to set it to 
advertisement. Okay, so now I'll go to the style option here and come over to the text. Set the typography font family to AR1 sans. Then come over here to the font size. I'll change the unit to REM and give it a value of 1.3 REM. Like that. Okay, so now I'll come back here finally and change the color. Make sure it's set to black. So this is what we'll have. As you can see, now we can just come over here and try to set it, make it the responsive. Now for this heading text, we're going to reduce the font size here to like say 7.5. Okay, and then this one here looks okay. Now check it out on mobile. Now for mobile, we're going to reduce the size here to let's see uh, 4.5. It's still high. Let's bring it down to 4. Okay, bring it to 4 to 3.2. Okay, and then we're going to come over here to the text content here. Uh, give it a value of 30 pixels all around. Like that, okay. And then this one here, we can reduce the font size here to maybe 2. And then this one here, we'll come over here and reduce the font size as well to 1. Okay, so we now have it responsive on our devices. Now we can go back to our desktop. Okay, for the desktop, now we are done with our um, content. This is what we'll have. This is the final work we'll have here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the various CSS classes to the I to the container and widget respectively so that when we apply our code, it's going to take effect instantly. So what I'm going to do here is I'll go to my code editor. Now, this is the CSS classes we'll be using, these two CSS classes. So I'm just going to copy this one out. The first class, which is the hero class, then I'll come over here to this container here and go to the advanced settings, come down to where we have the CSS class and add the hero. Then I go back here to the hero media. Then I'm just going to copy this and come back here. Now where I'll go to add it is for the image. So I'm just going to come over to these images here and then go to the advanced settings and come over to the CSS class. And then I'm going to add it here like that. Okay. So now. We successfully added all the CSS classes, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here, toggle this, and then come over to our add element, and then just come over here. So now I'm going to search for the HTML widget, and then I'm going to drag it and drop it here. Okay, so it's outside. We created another container here, just have it here like that. Then I'm going to go to my code editor. We have written down the code that we'll be using. This is the code we'll be using. So you do not need to worry about this code. It's going to be made available in the description of this video. So I'm just going to copy the code out. Then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste the code. Now I'm just going to expand this a little bit so you can see while I walk you through some stuff here. So now the next thing we can do here is if you notice we've not added our images anywhere on our site, on our screen. Not even in this container, there is no image in this container, however, we have it there. So now what this does is that what we're going to do here is we're going to add our image URL here. Okay, on this particular place where it says image URL, this is where you're going to copy your image URL and paste. So we're just going to go to our dashboard, come over here to media library. And then these are the various media we have here. So we're going to select from them and add our images. So we can just come over here, select this one here, copy the URL here, come back here. And then I'm just going to make sure it is pasted between this uh, quotation mark you have here. Okay, so we just paste it here. And then we'll go back here and select another image, come over here, copy the URL and come over here to the next one here, just between the quotation mark and then we'll paste it there. We'll go back again and select another image. Let's say this image, copy the URL, come over here and then we'll paste it here again. And uh, we do the same like that. Uh, copy this one here and uh, come over here and then we'll paste it here. And finally, we can come over here and uh, copy this one here and then we'll paste it here like that so that is how you're going to add your images okay so now that we've done that the next thing we can do here is we just go back like this and we come over here and click on publish and then let's click on preview to see 
So now we'll move on as you can see this wonderful effect like this and then it disappears. We move it come over like this. So this is one wonderful effect you can use. So when your users hover on, they can see your projects and things you've done like that. So that's pretty much it about this tutorial. So if you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to drop your comments wherever you are confused. And I'll do well to attempt to as much as I can. And also, if you've not subscribed to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video.